All right. During, I wanted to make a video about a Facebook post I made. Um, the sun started rising from the directly from the east a little bit, be, like a couple days before uh, fall equinox. It was rising slightly to the north, and now it's rising right just like here. The moon, it's after the full moon, it's still rising from slightly south. See, the moon is winter driven and the sun is summer driven. But right now it's equinox and the sun is now coming from here. And the moon has not yet lined up with the equinox yet. And it's over a week after the uh, fall equinox. Um, I'm thinking that the moon will start rising from the east after the new moon. So it's been pretty overcast um, pretty much overcasted since equinox every night I've been wanting to take a look at the Big Dipper because the Big Dipper um, makes a swastika for every season it changes its uh, it rotates and makes a swastika for uh, summer spring fall winter and and um, I wanted to know what order they go in so this year the su the sun went first and then the fall equinox came and the moon is still rising from this area now at the beginning of the summer the sun will rise way here in the north and the moon will and its most summer point will be rising from here and they're opposite during during the winter time the moon will rise from here and the sun will rise from here and it will set opposite so during the summer the sun does this and the moon does this and the opposite for the people in the south then and the opposite for winter and summer. The, the sun will rise from a southern location and set to a southern location, but during the equinox, they both come straight down the middle. But I'm just trying to see the periods that they, in order that they go in. And I'm thinking that the moon will come directly from the east after equinox, after the new moon. So, um, I also wanted to know the order of which the Big Dipper changed. Um, sometimes you can tell by the way the winds are blowing and the coldness of the rain too when fall is going to come. Sometimes there's a smell in the air. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit crazy and weird, but it's something I've been noticing for the past few years. I've been paying a lot more attention to nature, the cycle of plants and leaves. Uh, as the trees are starting to fall right now. Uh, so. The, uh, but the sun and moon are always close and local to you at all times, to your perspective. So uh, each person sees their own sun and moon, small, close, and local to everybody's perspective. We can't see that far. Our circle of sight is very limited. And uh, I just wanted to explain this, um, that the moon is winter-driven, the sun is summer-driven, and you know during the equinox, they're both, they both come from your east and set to your west in a straight line and that's how you have eclipses uh, but they, they're on a pattern slash circuit not orbit they rise and set they're not going all the way around the earth or up underneath underneath or they're just coming to and away and then you get a new one each day um, I would show you the book of Enoch it talks about the portals I personally think there's six portals, you know, there's certain positions they rise and set from. That's what I think they mean by portals. I could be wrong, uh, you know, I've never seen a portal, I've never seen uh, any of that through all my observations. I haven't looked, stopped looking up one day since I've been researching Flat Earth, but judging by the shading of the clouds, how far I can see, what I've been told, I don't know how my eyes work that they're small close and local to everybody's perspective as like the sun will be direct and this is what i find most fascinating about this is 
no matter what, the sun and moon will come direct, uh, if you're in the north, will come directly to your south at overhead at noon or midnight. And the moon's most full period is the opposite of the sun, which they said if the moon is getting its sunlight, light from the sun, why is its most full period directly above you at midnight? Because that would mean it's on the opposite side of the earth. Which would mean that would be, that should be when the new moon uh, is most distinct, right? So, but we all know that a cold energy source would not be getting its light source from a very hot energy source. So, but anyway, just want to explain that. I hope everybody's having a good day. Love, peace, and hugs.